Hello everyone. Welcome to BBWFM Hub. We are back with a new video. In this video, we are going to learn the calculation of FT requirement in chat support. So we have already seen the calculation of FT requirement in inbound calls, but here we will see with the chat support. So let's let me give you some context. Uh, then we will see with the example that how are we going to calculate the FT requirement in chat support. So the calculation of both um, FT requirement in chat and calls is same. There is only one difference. That difference is AHT. So in calls, we take overall AHT. However, in chat support, we will take concurrent HT. So now what is concurrent HT? So before that, we need to understand the chat congruency. So let's start. So chat congruency is the ability of an agent to handle multiple chats simultaneously. Let's see this with the example. So here is the assumptions that an agent is taking multiple calls or multiple chats at a time. He got one chat at 7 a.m. And that chat ended at 7.15. Then he got chat 2 at 7.01 ended at 7.20, then chat 3 at 7.5, ended at 7.30, then chat 4, 7.20, ended at 8. So here is the assumption that agent is getting multiple chats at a time. So for the chat congruency, we will calculate the chat time. So chat time is what? An agent is taking uh, how much time in completing the chat? So for chat one, the agent is um, taking 15 minutes and how we calculate it by subtracting our end time minus chat time. So we got 15 minutes as the chat time. So the chat time, we calculated the chat time and the total chat time comes up at one hour and 39 minutes. And then for the chat congruency, we will calculate the engage time. Engage time is what? Engage time is how long the teammate or the agent is engaged in taking the interactions or replying or taking the chats. So for the engage time, we will subtract our end time of the last chat that is at 8 a.m. with the start time of the chat one that is at 7 1. So we subtracted and we got our engage time as one. That means the agent got the first chat at 7 a.m. and he completed his all chats at 8 a.m. and then when then uh, he will have some uh, avail time. So this is the engage time now. What is the chat congruency? So chat congruency, as I already told you, it is the ability of an agent to handle multiple charts at a time. So how do we calculate it? For the chat congruency, we will divide our total chat time with the engage time. So that's how we got our chat congruency. Chat time divided by engage time. This comes up at 1.65. What is this 1.65? It means agent is handling 1.65 charts simultaneously. Okay, so this is my chart congruency. Now let's take an example of uh, forecasted calls. We're taking example forecasted charts at 5000 AHT. It's just an example that we're taking at 900. I assume that the teammate is taking 15 minutes to complete a chat, to complete one chat, and then uh, multiplying it by 60 to get it in seconds. So 900 seconds is the HD. Now um, we will take the concurrent HD because it's a chat support. So for concurrent HD, uh, we have already calculated the chat congruency. So concurrent HD, we will divide our HD with the chat congruency. So this is the um, formula of the concurrent HT. HT divided by chat congruency. Now we have the our concurrent HT. Let's go to the occupancy. For occupancy, I have referenced this with the model occupancy. 
model occupancy we have already seen this in the previous video i will uh, give the link in the description please click and check the video and uh, in this week in this sheet uh, we have already we have only changed the ht in the concurrent ht so in ht uh, this is an ht but it's a chat support so we will need to we will need to take concurrent HT. So concurrent HT is HT divided by chat congruency and HT is already referenced and we are dividing one this by 1.65 because 1.65 is our uh, chat congruency. So concurrent we have already replaced the HT with the concurrent HT and everything is same. So we got our occupancy as 68% and this occupancy we are taking in our calculations. Then working hours. For the working hours, we are taking that um, that the agent is working eight hours in a day and five days in a week. So eight into five, that is 40. Shrinkage, we are taking at 10%. This is just an assumption. So let's calculate the workload. So workload is what? Workload is forecasted charts into concurrent HT. It's a chart support. So we will take concurrent HT, concurrent HT, and then dividing this by 3600 seconds. And let's, let's calculate the required headcount. So for the required headcount is the, for, uh, is the workload dividing it by occupancy into 40. So workload is 758 hours of work is coming and my agents are working 40 hours with 68% of occupancy. So that's how we got our required headcount as 28. Then the gross headcount. For the gross headcount, we will put the shrinkage. So shrinkage is 10%. So 28 dividing it by 1 minus 10%. So the shrinkage comes. Uh, uh, shrinkage, we put the shrinkage and the, our gross headcount comes at 31. So this is how we calculate our um, requirement in chat support. The main difference is we are using the concurrent HT. And it's also important to note that if we use our content HT, then our requirement will be less when we are calculating it with HT. Hope so you understand and you like this video. Please like, subscribe and share and press the bell icon for the new updates. Thank you.